Hello my friends, I hope you're well. Yes, it has been a long time since I did one of these paintings. And today, I'm not gonna do a painting, I'm going to be doing a drawing in pen and ink and some felt tip pens. And I'm going to do it in just five minutes. So you can draw along at home. I'm going to be drawing Charlie Brown uh, by Charles Schultz. Specifically, a still from Charlie Brown's Christmas. So, get your timers on. What can go wrong? Good luck everyone. Let's go. Right, just check everything's recording and let's start with Charlie Brown's fat face. It is surprisingly difficult to draw Charlie Brown. Or maybe I'm just surprisingly rubbish. He's got very small features which are a long way away from the side of his face which is not unlike someone sitting pretty close to us today. I'm talking about me, I'm saying I've got a fat face. Anyway, let's go on with uh, Charles Schultz. What do we know about him? He was born in 1922 in the Minnesota area and that's why a lot of Charlie Brown's in the snow and over the course of his life he drew 17,897 um, cartoon strips which works out at I worked out it's one every day for 49 years over 49 years well, that took a minute and a half just to do his face. Come on. Now, um, at one point in his life, he was making uh, over a million a week from all the uh, Charlie Brown merchandise. And his last strip was published two weeks after he died in 2000. So, well done, Charles Schultz. When I used to read Charlie Brown when I was a kid, I didn't really like it very much but now I've revisited it as an adult it is brilliant it influenced some of my favorite cartoonists um Bill Watson who does Calvin and Hobbes and the far side and I think you sort of need to be an adult to understand it because um then you can really appreciate uh, the futility of life I used to think that Charlie Brown you know was a loser who everything went wrong for now I realise just the world is against him. I understand what it's like, Charlie Brown. That's halfway through already, quick, let's draw the tree. Lucky the tree's gonna be rubbish. My favourite characters, Marcy, incidentally, from Charlie Brown. What's yours? Please write it below. Um, I can do the tree later on, let's just do Snoopy. Snoopy's also hard to do as well. This is from the Charlie Brown Christmas special, which, um, Charles Schultz had a lot of input in it and he insisted they use children's voices and that um, some of the actors who played the characters in it were so young that they had to have the lines dictated to them because they couldn't read yet. And also Charles Schultz insisted there shouldn't be a laughter track. And when you watch it, it does make a huge difference. There's something brilliant about the Charlie Brown's Christmas and the sort of... Um, purity of it and also it's got music by Vincent Garardi I hope I said that right an Italian jazz musician who sort of became synonymous 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 with Charlie Brown um, and there's a scene in it when the kids are just dancing and for some reason it sort of makes me happier than maybe any other thing that's ever been made it's this scene here just watch it and You'll know what I mean. One minute and four seconds left. Oh, I mean, Snoopy's got hooves. Snoopy's got hooves, does he? Yeah, he's got hooves. Um, and he's a, a lot fatter. Right, get the tree done. The tree's supposed to be rubbish. 44 seconds. I mean, they're very simplistic, but... You really appreciate 
the purity of his drawing. And I was reading a lot of his um, cartoons, just researching this, and they are very funny. And I think, is it weird to say underrated? I think I underrated them. I just took them for granted. But um, I certainly will be reading a lot more in the future. And in his version, Snoopy doesn't have hooves. It's five seconds left. Put the red cherry on. Not the cherry, the red thingy. Ah! I dropped my pen on the floor. How am I supposed to do it if I drop my pen on the floor? I'm going to draw the bauble on anyway. So, shut up. I've drawn the bauble on. I've sort of cheated. <sighs> Who'd have thought? Who'd have thought that you can't even do that properly? Merry Christmas. Well, my friends, there is a still from Charlie Brown's Christmas. And here is Charlie Brown and the hooved demon with a floating hut at the back. I'm gonna put this on eBay for one pound and all the proceeds will go to the World Land Trust who buy bits of land and help conserve them. And also, as well as this, I'll send you a pack of Pooh Man cards, the greatest game of the 21st century, available on pooman.co.uk. Please buy a thousand packs. All right, my friends, thanks for watching. Uh, Why not have a go yourself? Uh, that's about it. Oh yes, happy painting and also drawing and also Christmas. See you later.